Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel, or if you're new here, welcome. I am back with another haul video today, and this time I'm gonna be sharing the stuff I got at the Victoria's Secret outlet, as well as during the semi-annual sale. I only went to the sale the first day. To be honest, I wasn't really very impressed with the sale as far as like the body care goes, because that's what I was most excited for, but I did find some really good things at the outlet that I'm really excited to share. I feel like this is one of the best hauls I got at the outlet so far. The outlet near me, they do have a ton of body care products, but a lot of like the retired scents or like discontinued scents, they only have in the lotions. It's very rare that they do have fragrance mist and they are starting to raise the prices a little bit more. It was a $4.99 before for everything and now it is $5.99. Actually, even the same annual sale, I think we're all $5.99 and under. The first two lotions that I spotted and I was so excited to see these were from this candy collection. I'm not sure exactly what it was called, but I think it came out sometime last year or the year before. And I do actually have Fruit Crush in the Fragrance Mist, so I'm really excited to now have a little set of this. This is Raspberry Punch in Citrus Buzz. So in case any of you are wondering how this compares to Raspberry Tangerine from Bath & Body Works, this one is a lot more candy-like. It's very, very sweet, and personally, I really enjoy this scent. I do really like Raspberry Tangerine, but that one is definitely more of like a sweet fruity, while this smells more like an actual candy. So if you're into those really sweet scents, I'm sure it'd be something you would really enjoy and I also got candy baby and this one is sugar swirl and mango explosion now I've never tried this scent at all but I have heard many things about this collection I know a lot of people love it for one the packaging the packaging is so adorable I'm not like the biggest like mango scent lover I'm kind of getting into it I really like mango Mai Tai from Bath and Body Works this one is like very fruity but it's also like very sweet I mean as the name says candy baby it is like a very candy like scent it's just like a very sugary sweet scent if you do have an outlet near you highly highly recommend looking out for these because these were a really good find i did pick up this lotion i saw it the last time i was at the outlet and i passed it up so this time around i felt like i needed to have it they did have this one as well as banana twist which i was very tempted to buy so i ended up just getting this one in peach squeeze again i love the packaging it's just so adorable and this is pink peach and lush passion fruit I I don't know what it is but I've been really getting into peach scents lately and this one just smells so so good pretty much all the ones I have today I would love to find in the matching fragrance mist but I'm really happy to have these lotions this one smells really good and I do have other peach scented fragrance mists as well as perfume so this one's gonna pair really nice with that I saw a couple scents from this collection here and they all kind of look like little mixtape so this one is called vanilla remix it is a black vanilla amber sparks the downside about the outlets is there aren't a lot of testers for a lot of the scents and a lot of them are sealed so it is a good thing that way people aren't like messing with all the products but you aren't really able to like test out any of the scents you just kind of have to go based off the scent notes and it is final sale so it's a little bit risky sometimes but I ended up picking it up anyways and I'm really happy I did it's just like a very soft vanilla scent like it's nothing too too strong it almost kind of reminds me of like a bare vanilla or something like that it's more of just like this warm kind of like nighttime vanilla scent but it's nothing like too overpowering at all and the other one I picked up is cherry pop so this one is wild cherries and hot petals I've been getting into more like cherry scents lately there is definitely that cherry note in here but it's a lot more floral than it is fruity I feel like it's a nice balance between the two like if you're not into those like super artificial cherry type of scents this one is like a bit more toned down because it is mixed with those sweeter florals you know it is a scent that I enjoy but it's not something like I'm totally crazy about I would say between the two so far I do prefer vanilla remix I feel like this one could have been like a little bit sweeter and more cherry like I've been noticing the last couple times they've gone they've had like more shower products and I saw that they had one of the exfoliating body scrubs and this is the scent green pear and citrus and I haven't tried any of the Victoria's Secret scrubs or anything like that I also was able to find the moisturizing cream body wash and I have heard amazing things about both of these these are pretty expensive I mean regular price $18 they're usually on sale for 12 and I was able to get them for six dollars so I figured now was the time to try it out I still haven't had a chance to use this one in the shower it looks like 
almost similar to the texture of the Dove body polishes. It's a very, very like fresh scent. Pear isn't one of my favorite type of scents, but I can deal with it in a scrub. I more so just really wanted to test out the formula because I've heard really great things about it. And I have had a chance to use the body wash. This one is in Coconut Milk and Rose. These are really nice. They have like a really nice formula. It gives you a nice lather. They do feel very moisturizing on your skin. And I did really like this scent as well. It's like this creamy, sweet rose scent. And the body wash also has shea butter. I would say it's kind of similar to the moisturizing body washes from Bath & Body Works. So if you're able to find them like on sale, I definitely think they're worth picking up, but definitely don't pay full price. I mean, don't pay full price for any of these. Victoria's Secret always has sales. I still really wanted to try out these products and at the outlet, they hardly ever have products like these. So I just felt like I couldn't pass them up. I've been seeing a lot from the Noir collection and I picked up Velvet Petals Noir this last time I went. I do have Pure Seduction and Bare Vanilla from this collection. This is Tempting Berry and Dark Blooms. For one, I love this packaging. I'm not sure exactly when this collection came out. Just because I'm getting more into Velvet Petals, I can definitely understand the hype now around that scent. I need to get in the full size because right now I just have it in the mini and this one smells really good. It's like a deeper version of Velvet Petals but it's still like very sweet and girly and like slightly floral. I definitely can smell that berry note in there. Even for a lotion this still smells very strong to me so I would love to find it in a fragrance mist. Sometimes you can find them for a good deal off like places like Macari. That's where I usually look. So yeah, I'm gonna have to keep an eye out for this one because I do really like this scent. I did get a couple scents from Victoria's Secret Pink. They're usually just thrown in there with the same bin as Victoria's Secret. This one, I do actually have it in the Fragrance Mist. This is Rule Breaker and this is Pink Sugar. That's pretty much all it says here. So there's not really very many notes. As far as like I can tell with this scent, it's definitely more of like a vanilla sweet type of scent. I believe this is described as like a floral gourmand type of scent. So there are some like floral notes is there as well as coconut but it definitely leans more towards like a sweet gourmand type of scent than it does a floral to me. I really like this one. I'm definitely going to be getting more use out of it now that I have a matching set. All right sorry guys I had to turn the ceiling fan on in my room just because it was getting really hot in here so hopefully the noise isn't too loud but the next lotion I got is another pink lotion. This one is Sky Filter. Again not very many fragrance notes on here. It does say Sheer Jasmine so I tried to find it online just so I can get some more fragrance notes for you guys. And it does say it has notes of coconut, jasmine, and honeysuckle. This is described as more of like a fruity floral scent with sheer jasmine, sparkling tangerine, and vanilla. I feel like a ton of like Victoria's Secret scents have vanilla. Like they're all like very sweet and girly, like youthful type of scents. But I personally really like those like sweet girly type of scents. They did luckily have a tester out for this one. So I was able to test it out in stores. But I feel like even when you're in the stores, it's hard to actually like get a good feel for a scent just because it's a mix of like all these other scents while you're in the store. But this one did smell really good. I was unsure about it just because, I mean, I do like jasmine scents, but I feel like I have quite a few like florals in my collection already, but this is a nice mix because it was mixed with other like fruity and sweet scents. I did notice they had some of these minis here. I think these were $2.99 at the outlet. And this is Warm and Cozy Sundays. I do actually have this one in the lotion. I got it one of the last times I was at the outlet, which I believe I showed you guys in my last haul. I love the original Warm and Cozy, and this one is more of like the summertime version. For Warm and Cozy, this one, you can definitely smell more of like that pineapple scent in here. It smells very good, very like fruity, sweet, girly type of scent. I don't have very many of these like minis from Pink, but they're pretty cute actually, and it was only $2.99. And sorry for it being really dark behind me. Unfortunately, it's like a very like cloudy day right now. It's like the middle of the afternoon, but it looks like the evening time right now. But honestly, I kind of like it. I kind of like a little more dim in my room. But they did have some of these lotions. I don't know, the ones with like the pump. I do have a couple of them. I have the honey lotion as well as the berry sea lotion. And this one does say limited batch. I'm pretty sure this came out sometime during the holidays. This is the cocoa, sugar, and spice lotion. It says with ginger essential oil, coconut oil, hydrating body lotion. I've seen a couple people haul this scent and I was really excited to see it at my outlet. People had hauled it a while back, but my outlet didn't have them the last time I had gone. This smells like a super sweet gingerbread cookie. It's definitely more of like that spicy type of scent. Like 
like a gingerbread cookie, but it smells really good. So if you're into more of those gourmand cookie type of scents, I'm sure you would enjoy this one. I'm sure you can find it online as well, or maybe sometime during the next semi-annual sale, they'll bring this one back. But this one smells really good. I'm into like all these cookie gourmand type of scents. Okay, and the last lotion that I got, this one is Santorini Neroli Water. I did actually see this one back online for the semi-annual sale, but I picked up the lotion at the outlet, and this is a Neroli Water Butterfly Lily. And I am into more of these like fresh aquatic scents. I kind of like a little bit of everything. This one I was able to try out in stores, and I actually really like this scent. So if I am able to find the fragrance mist, I will definitely pick it up. I feel like this is a great like daytime, summertime type of scent. It smells really good, very like fresh and clean. And I also really like like lily notes in fragrances, just like a very like soft floral type of scent. I'm not sure exactly when this collection came out, like maybe sometime last year. This is a really good find at the outlet. Like this is very rare that they have stuff like this there. This is Bombshell Nights. This is the fine fragrance mist. And I do actually have the little roller ball in this scent as well. So yeah, I had to have this one. I love the packaging. It's just like a very like sleek and clean bottle. It looks really nice displayed on my shelves back there, which by the way, I did change my setup back there in case you guys had noticed. I did just film a collection video going through all my Bath & Body Works stuff. So that one will be coming very soon. But I do have a couple of these. So they're like really nice displayed on my top shelf up there. So like I said, I do have the little roller ball. This is actually a double-sided roller ball. So this one has Bombshell Nights and this one has the original Bombshell. Bombshell Nights is described as a fruity, woody, floral, fresh, spicy type of scent. So you have notes of black currant, dahlia, and woody notes. So even though I do really love those like sweet, girly type of scents, I also really like scents like this that are a little bit deeper and like woody and mixed with florals. I feel like these are the perfect like sexy nighttime type of scents. So in this scent, you can definitely smell like the black currant and those woody notes. I feel like the woody notes definitely take over this type of scent, but I just think there's just something really nice about it. I feel like this is definitely different than a lot of the other Victoria's Secret perfumes that I have. So I think it's a nice addition to my collection. I can always mix and match this one and make it a little bit sweeter if I like. Okay, now we're gonna finish up with the things I got during the semi-annual sale. I only got a couple things because honestly they were all like $6.99 which really isn't much of a sale and a lot of the scents that they did have I already have in my collection. I just got a couple of these scents that I hadn't seen before. There was one that I had been wanting which is actually this one right here. And this was like in a $5 bin so I ended up picking it up. This is Sunset Sorbet and I'm pretty sure Natalie Grace was talking about this scent. I love her recommendations. So this one is Iced Papaya Glitter Waves. I wish they gave more of a description. Wow, this one smells really, really good. This one, for some reason, isn't like that typical fruity type of scent. It smells really, really good. I wish I knew like what other notes were in here because there's just something about this one I really, really like. They did have it in the lotion, which I ended up putting back because I have so many lotions already. I'm kind of regretting it, but I'm sure I can pair with another like lotion that I already have. This next one is Coconut Coast. And I mean, look at this packaging. I think it is so adorable. I love the baby pink mixed with the teal. I just think it just looks very cute. It's very nice displayed on my shelf. And this one just says Coconut Milk. And obviously it's Coconut Coast, so it's more of like that coconutty type of scent as you would imagine. I would say this is more of like that warm beachy type of coconut scent. I mean I have so many coconut scents already in my collection. Did I really need this one? Probably not but it was really cute. And the last pink fragrance mist that I got is this one. It's called Thorn to be Wild. I feel like I've seen this collection before like maybe at the outlets or maybe just in other people's videos. Now all this one says on here is a sparkling freesia, so not very many fragrance notes. I was able to look this one online and the reviews honestly kind of sold me. I saw some people say that this is kind of like a more unisex scent. I feel like this is different compared to a lot of the other pink scents that I have, but I don't know if I would consider this like unisex. To me, this still smells like a very like sweet floral scent. I thought the packaging was pretty cute as well. It kind of reminds me of like old school traditional tattoos, but yeah, I do like this one. I feel like it is different compared to a lot of the other scents that I have. I'm not sure exactly what this collection is called and I am so sad because I picked up a bottle that's dented here at the bottom, but I don't think I'm gonna return it. I'm just gonna keep it. So I picked up two of them. There was another one, Marine Splash. I can't remember if I saw that one or not. I was just 
trying to get in and out of the store as quickly as possible, so I just picked up a couple things. This one is Bright Palm. It says apricot blooms and coconut milk. You know, honestly, when I heard coconut milk, I was like, I don't need another coconut scent. But this one actually smelled really good, and I love the packaging. I love, like, this, like, matte frosted kind of look. It's just very simple. And I thought this one was really nice. I don't think I have very many fragrances with apricot in them. So it was a nice mix with the coconut. And the last fragrance mist that I did get is Fresh Jade. I thought this one was really cute as well. The same type of packaging. This one says a lime squeeze and driftwood waves. I was able to try these out in stores. I wasn't sure how I was going to feel about the lime note in there. I think I only have like one lime scented body care product and that is Coconut Lime from Bath and Body Works. And that one is very limey. Oh, actually I did pick up Cherry Limeade also new from Bath and Body Works, but this one is definitely very different from the others. This one is more of like mixed with those woody type of notes. It's a very fresh type of scent. Actually, I think these two were $6.99, either $5.99 or $6.99 because I did go to two different stores. They also were having a sale on the fragrances. So I did get this one. I believe it's a 1.7 fluid ounce and this is the Heavenly perfume and this one I had heard really good things about. I believe I was watching Kathleen Light's video. It was like fragrances to match your zodiac sign. I believe this one she put in for like a Virgo perfume which I am a Virgo so ever since then I've always kind of like wanted to try it out for myself but this is like a very heavy bottle like this feels expensive and I think I got this for around $30. So Heavenly is described as more of like a warm kind of like sweet, but more of a mature sweet type of scent. I have a lot of floral notes in here. We also have a mix of gold musk, creamy sandalwood, and bourbon vanilla. So I would say this isn't like your typical sweet bourbon vanilla scent. So you do get more of like that warm vanilla note in the dry down, but it's mixed with a lot of other florals. So this is a bit more of like a mature scent, but I feel like you can wear this day or night. Like it's nothing too overpowering. I wouldn't say it's like one of my favorite Victoria secret scents. Honestly, it was really sold on the fact that it had bourbon vanilla because I love that note in fragrances, but yeah, I'm gonna have to try this one out a little bit more. And the last thing I got, which I already clicked onto my wallet, was this little wristlet. I've seen these for a while at Victoria's Secret and I've always kind of wanted one just because I hate carrying around a bag, especially when I'm just planning on going in and out of a store really quick. And I ended up just ordering this wallet here. I don't know if you guys can see it very well, but it's just a simple black wallet that I ordered from Shein. So I just thought it looked really cute all together just because there is like gold hardware on both the wallet and the wristlet. I kind of wanted to get like a pink wallet to match, but for now, this is what I got. And these were 50% off. Off, so I think it was around $8. But that is everything that I got. I feel like this haul was really long as well as the last haul that I did, but hopefully you guys enjoy. Let me know what you prefer to watch. If you like like long haul videos or if you prefer shorter videos, I can definitely shorten them if you guys prefer to watch videos like that. I mean, I personally like both type of videos. I like watching long haul videos or like long chatty talk through videos whenever I'm like getting ready or anything like that. But either way, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you have not already. Make sure to follow me on TikTok and Instagram. I will have my links down below. Thank you all so, so much for watching and I will see you in my next one. Bye.